Hello, you're welcome. Let's solve this nice exponential equation. Solution from here. What we have here, this follows what we have a times a. This same thing as a square. But this same thing multiplying, you can write it as 9 raised to the power hex or square equals to 60 on this side. Then this also follows when we have a raised to the power m or raised to the power m. It's same thing as a raised to power m. But this, this power multiplies, we have 9 raised to power 2x equals to 60 on this side. But this, yeah, we take the log on both sides. We have log 9 raised to power 2x equals to log 60 from here. But this, here we apply the power of log logarithm. What we have log m raised to power p. This same thing as p log m. That is here. Oh, here becomes 2x log 9 equals to log 60 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. Divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. At this here, log 9 cancel each other. And we have 2x equals to log 60 over log 9. Then also here, 60 can be expressed as 3 times 20. Then all we have becomes 2x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9. Then this here follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have 2x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. Then also from here, 20 can be expressed as 4 times 5, which implies we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then from here, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. The next step here, separate this into two fractions, and we have 2x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then from here, 9 can be written as 3 times 3, that's 3 square. And also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes 2x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. 
So here we apply the power of logarithm. Two comes here. Two comes here. Also here. Then from here, and we have two x equals to log three over two log three plus two log two over two log three plus log five over two log three. Then here we have log three cancelled each other. That is two x equals to one over two plus here two cancel each other. We have log two over log three. Then plus here we have one over two times log five over log three. Then here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this same thing as log a to base b. At this here we have two x equals to one over two plus log two base three plus one over two log five base three. Then here we can bring this together as one fraction. We have two x equals to the SCM here. That's two. So this here we have one plus. This becomes two log two base three. Then plus log five base three. Then also we remove this two here. Multiply both side by one over two. That is multiply this side as well by one over two. Here two cancel each other. We have x now equals to. 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 times 2 that's 4. That is the value of x here we have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 all over 4. Let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. That is, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power. 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 over 4 times also 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then here we have same bits multiplying. Follows when we have a raised to power m times. Also, a raised to power same power m. This same thing as a raised to power m plus m. That's 2m. That is, yeah, this same thing as 9 raised to power 2 times 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Okay, here, yeah. 2 cancel here, yeah. 1 and 2 here, yeah. 2. We have 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, yeah. 9 can be expressed as 3 square, which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. This is equal to 60 on this side. That is, here yeah, this power multiplies. 2 here cancel each other. And we have 3 raised to power 1 plus. 2 log 
2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 this is equals to 60 on this side that is here we apply the law of indices when we have a is to power n plus n it's same thing as a is to power n then it's a is to power n then here this becomes 3 is to power 1 times 3 is to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 is to power log 5 is 3 this is equals to 60 on this side then 3 is to power 1 that's 3 times. Here we reverse this 12 from power log. We have 3 raised to power log 2 squared. With 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 with 3. It is equal to 60 on this side. Then here we have 3 times. This follows when we have A raised to power log B to base A. This goes to B. And this here is 2 squared, which is 4 times. Here we have 5. This is equal to 60 on this side. And 3 times 4, 12 times 5, 60. Equals to 60 from here. And this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 4 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget your steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments see you next time and bye for now